Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Cemetery Hall. Came up here to visit Dad and Grandpa on the yeah, to-do list of today. First time I've been here since the winter. Check my P.O. box. There's nothing in it. I mean, I'd like... I mean, I don't know how many people are mistaking, like, packages for mail. To me, they're, like, two very different things. Mail or letters. I'd like to know who the faceless minions are who are part of the strange and exotic. <laughs> you talk to the camera and it's like, I know four of you. So I'd be like, I'd like to know who y'all are. So... That is why I'm kind of up in the area. So I figured I'd do a glorious car haul. See, I can't, I can't sippy sippy like Bunny because it's empty empty. For some weird reason, she's much more interesting when she does that than me. Anything I could pull off. So I'll just show you in my lovely car. And, I, and for the first time since I've had the new caliber, the new granny taxi, I actually passed the exact same car. I'm going this way, they're going this way. And I'm... Looked at it and kind of looked the same. And then, I'm filming right. Yep. I couldn't tell the blinky blinky. And then I kind of had to read the back because it's kind of a car you, nobody really wants. So, <laughs> it's like, oh my god, there it is. So, mystery solved. On to the hall. I finally found, between the tens and the twelves, that when you want to find, you can't find, a couple of pairs of eights. Again, hunting for pants. Now, these are L.L. Bean. But they look awfully tiny for eights. I don't know. This is why I only buy them off the dollar rack. Supposedly they're supposed to be a really good brand. I don't care what the hell they are as long as they fit. And, but these don't have the spongy in them, so I'm not quite sure. And just says women's AR. So, of course, they're like 10, 20 inches too long on me. So, And I like the color. So, it's neat to have a nice pair of jeans that are a different shade. So... Not quite sure if these will fit, but we'll see. <laughs> like not, co not quite a red, kind of a maroon. A very pretty color. But again, they be too long. So, hooray me. And these would be friggin' expensive if you bought them new, because nothing's cheap in L.L. Bean. So, I gotta move my... Yeah. Cards over here. The keys. There we go. There we go. My hair's been eating my face all day. Turn you this way. And now that I have the caliber, there's like a flat spot that has like a little drawer of some sort. Perfect place to put you. Not a tripod. But I don't know if you're getting like nose. <laughs> you're kind of, I don't know, kind of awkward. And of course my lovely seats had to come with me. And then another pair of jeans. They kind of have these weird like super flared bottoms and these do have a little spoiling to them I probably just cut these things off eh, can't tell which way's the waist <laughs> and some of the pants I found that was the waist <laughs> and these are just um seven premium de denim brand never heard of them at all and then again size 8 so a little spoiling spoiling <laughs> with a sticker attached that says $8. Eh. Nothing really special as far as the top part, though. But, yeah. I don't know about the legs, though. I have to wear my... my... Frankenstein boots to give me those four extra inches there. So, we'll see. That looks a little more normal. I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. But then you have, I just noticed, sort of built in a second button. Oh no, that's the, but the internal button. Does anybody even use the internal button? I'm far too lazy for that, no. So that's my second pair of jeans. Uh. Not a lot more awkward. Uh. And I held off on this because um, it would have been like, well, because they don't know their own shit, you know, they have things sitting on the sportswear, things they can't tell between the tunic and the dress, and then 
long sleeve shirts are four dollars and you never know quite how they're going to price it even though you found it on the rack and it's hang so this i assumed it would have been four but it said three because it's sportswear but i held off and today's uh, flag that was half off was red and it was red and nobody bought it so i got it for a buck fifty oh yeah and it's this and it's just a, like a jacket, sweater type thing. It has, of course, England on the front and then England on the side. But unlike the other one that you have either that you've either seen in the hall or I've worn doing hauls, it's kind of an unattractive shade of blue, but it had like a little crest on the back too. And I think it said London, not England. I don't remember. But this one's much more attractive. So <laughs> I was so happy that nobody bought it. And it's for a kitty that, come on me hella <laughs> hell yeah so for a kitty doesn't tell me anything other than that oh okay uh, machine wash cold yeah made in, made in china size grande so it makes it for either a neat jacket or a sweater for the winter so i was so happy that nobody bought it on me mm. okay. <laughs> pile of clothes there so my pants I got for a buck and that I got for a buck fifty. Oh yeah, and I kind of mentioned it in my shop with me thing that I don't quite know what'll work. I'm behind a lady that bought like fifty dollars worth of stuff with a credit card. And you know, I'm just sitting there waiting for her to go. And she's like, well, she turns around and it's like, well, you know, do you want the stamp card? Because the woman had, she had bought fifty dollars worth of stuff. Every five dollars you get a stamp. And then when you fill up the card, you get $5 worth of store credit, so you can get $5 of stuff free. So, you know, she filled up literally a half of the card. And she's like, well, I don't shop here. Would you like it? I'm like, yeah, thank you. You know, because I was the one behind her, and she handed it to me. And I'm like, thank you, especially half full. Hell yeah. So thank you, strange lady I've never seen before. Definitely not going to go to waste. <laughs> so, yay. <laughs> so I'll have to keep one with my other kind of wallet when I take it with my spare grandmother and have the other one in my wallet so good to have two because when you just randomly go places so that was awesome thank you and that was pretty much it <laughs> so it's a little mini mini haul and hmm, well I don't know if that'll go with the pants that's the only thing with like red pants I can't like color coordinate <laughs> so I'll have like a purple top with like red pants with the hell do I know so thank you for watching my cramped car haul, <laughs> which is a lot more roomy than my stiff breeze there. This works much better for a granny taxi, which is why I had to get the whole hatchback type thing. <sighs> much more room for walkers. <laughs> Do comment down below if you've had any experiences of like generous people just sort of going, okay, I don't need this, you want it? And that type of thing. Be kind of nice to, you know, nice to hear a nice story with somebody doing something nice and random, you know. And subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. Bye.